law of attraction which says whatever you imagine you become so ramana maharshi says whatever is destined to happen will happen now which of this is true both of this is true <laughs> the truth is higher level truth and lower level truth okay as per ramana maharshi life is a dream the dream character has no freedom it's like movie is project on screen the movie character may think that i am uh, having a love affair with the heroine or i am flashing villain movie character may think but the script is already written so ramana vashi says script is already written what is called destiny so the script is written so the movie character has to find this person so now what ramana says is higher truth so in the higher truth the lower truth is there this dream character finds a book called uh, uh, what is that no. law of attraction then this dream character starts believing that i can attract anything i want a bmw car starts imagining and bmw car comes so la, this character starts thinking that oh law of attraction is true and one thing is this this character doesn't understand that even that is also destined <laughs> finding the book is answer <laughs> Finding a book called Half a Dash is this time, and finding a BMW car also is this time. So the many people, many many characters find the law of a law of attraction book, but they don't get BMW because they may get a Maruti car. That's also this time, <laughs> right? So only freedom, Ramana Maharshi. According to Ramana Maharshi, only freedom you have is either continue dreaming or wake up from the dream. That's the real freedom. Everything is apparent freedom. In a dream, you have freedom. Don't you have freedom? In dream, you are going in a forest. Suddenly, tiger starts chasing, and you start run, and tiger starts eating you. Okay, so did you have freedom to run? You had freedom to run. Did you escape from tiger? No. Both running from tiger and tiger being eaten also was a part of the dream script. So similarly, in dream you got a book of power. Uh, what is the law of attraction book? You started getting something. The part of the script. That's what Ramana Maharshi is saying. What Ramana Maharshi is saying is higher truth. What law of law of attraction is saying lower truth. So both are true. Both are true. In which domain you want to be? In dream, dream domain you want to be. Continue. If you want to wake up from the dream, understand Ramana Maharshi is saying. <laughs> so whatever in our hand is not to change the script, but no. This again, what I can't change the script is also false. So who wrote the script? Some fellow wrote the script for you. No. You only wrote the script. See karma. Nobody writes the karma for you, or what happens in your life. What is the dream you have to? Nobody writes. You, as Jivatma, identify with the body and start creating script of life. So what you do now will become script of future. Next movie. Every moment you are creating next movie. Understand? Dream will continue, right? So dream is nothing but thought chain. So one thought starts, next chain, next chain, next chain, correct? Right? There was Mr. Mulla Nasruddin. He is newly married. Okay. So husband and wife are sleeping on a bed. Mulla Nasruddin is a poor fellow. Bed is small. Wife is very shy. She wants to tell Mulla that we have to go to a bigger house. She tries to interact. Mulla ji, yes, the bed is so small. She is trying to say house is small. So what? If one child is born, where the child will sleep? Mulla ji says, moves a little bit. He will slide. Child will sleep in between. This wife doesn't leave. If next child is child is born, he will sleep here. He will move. What happens if third child is born? He'll sleep here, and Mulla ji suddenly falls from the bed. His leg is broken. Next day morning, a fracture is there. Bandage is there. Somebody asks, "Yesterday when you got married, what happened to your fracture?" My third child is the problem. <laughs> 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 so what happens is we build on thought chains. The thought chain is a dream. That's a life. So Ramana Maharshi says, "Your thought, you are creating a thought chain. That's your destiny." So you can be non non born the child which is not born can create a fracture for you. <laughs> That's called destiny. So you have two choice: 
stop creating thought chain and come out of the dream or can have a dream child many dream children also you can have no problem <laughs> so you can have law of attraction and attract many more children and many more fractures also <laughs> Not the fact that the unborn child. <laughs> so, did you understand the concept clearly? <laughs> so, destiny is your own creation in conceptualization. What you conceptualize, what you start doing, start becoming real next. So, your choice of stop conceptualizing, come out of the dream, or continue. Stop conceptualizing, come out of the dream is called self inquiry. Who am I? Clear? So you have two choices. Remain in the mental world. Manasa Jyoti or come to self for Atma Jyoti. <laughs> so, any questions for people on Zoom? Unmute again. Somebody has a dream. Okay. In dream, he goes to a hotel. With a friend. And uh, they order a dosa. His friend is enlightened. He says, it's a dream hotel. It's not reality. So he says, oh, it's a dream hotel. Then order something more. No, why masala dosa? Masala dosa. It's a ghee dosa. Anyway, dream. Enjoy more dream. <laughs> this is called law of attraction. <laughs> anyway, dream. Enjoy more. <laughs> Law of attraction means whatever I desire will come to me. So, anyway, dream now. The same thing is applies to you also. Anyway, dream. Why not? Any more desires to get married. Yeah. Why can't you manage more desire? <laughs> so, the, every time you have a desire, you are creating a new world. New life. Okay. You are putting your thoughts into the universe. So, then it will start becoming tree. So, law of attraction will work. Even if you don't get BMW car this lifetime. After 10 lifetimes, we get it, but you have to create 10 lifetimes for that. <laughs> right? Such a nice world. Mm -hmm. And that's why this world is called Maya Bazaar. There was a very wise man, I don't know his name in Telugu. He made a movie called Maya Bazaar. Huh? Okay, I don't remember his name. Okay, so the no, movie name is called Maya Bazaar. He's a very wise man, actually. The, I mean, normally the directors of the movie are, uh, okay, he has a wisdom. Maya Bazaar is a world. So, Bajar means market. In this market, you can get anything. Okay. So, that's a very nice song. I remember all the time. Viva, viva, bojara vidu, vichitra, bakshagalu, begari, autana vidu, ahahaha, laddu, ahahaha. The moment you say laddu, laddu will come. Moment you say Maya Bazaar, anyway, it's Maya. <laughs> so, you have to decide whether you are about to live in Maya Bazaar or reality. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Reality means all dream will go, all masala will go. <laughs> no masala. Living in reality means reality is there only. No, I, I won't be there to live. <laughs> Who is that? The reality has to be So, who the question is how to live in reality? No, if reality, no, 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 so uh, that I'll tell you. Okay, I'll tell the answer also. So, if reality is there, I am not there. I mean, body mind complex. Right? If body mind complex, right? reality is not there. Correct, no? So, how can I live in reality? The answer is yes, you can live in reality. That's called Jivan Mukti. Jivan Mukta is two in one. <laughs> he lives in the world with the knowledge of Brahman. So, if you become Vidya Mukta, gone case. So, Jivan Mukta has is a dual citizen. He knows I am reality. He knows this Maya world. And both places he lives. That's a living reality means living a life of Jivan Mukta. That's called Satya Darshana. Visiting <laughs> <laughs> two simultaneous possibilities. Okay, two simultaneous possibilities called Jivan Mukti. So that's why Ramakrishna was having a throat cancer. He was suffering, moaning. He is not able to eat food. One Shisha comes in. I am not able to see you. You are suffering. There is so much of pain, he will say. Another she says, but you are also blissful. 
Yes, they have blissful also. <laughs> Paramarthi and Vyavarika both get combined in, both get reflected in a Jivan Mukta. So, live in reality means becoming Jivan Mukta. Both are getting reflected in the same intellect. Both are getting reflected in the same intellect. So, Simon's Ramakrishna is blissful. Simon is body mind composer of suffering. He is also knows that body mind is suffering, I am not suffering. He also knows that I am blissful also. <laughs> so that's why Jivan Mukta is the bridge between Jivatma and Paramatma. So Jivan Mukta only can be a guru because he knows both sides of the world. So like at the threshold. He is the threshold. No, he is not at the threshold. No, he is both sides. He is both, he is the gate. Okay. Both sides. Very well. That's what he is sitting on the wall. Ah, he is sitting on the wall. Right. He knows the both sides. So I gave you an example. There is a big wall, people don't know across the wall, many people will come, one person climb the wall and some people climb the wall and jump. That side of the wall is a beautiful garden. So they enjoy. The person who is sitting on the wall, he is able to see this side and this side. This side he sees people are not enjoy, don't have the ending to enjoy. This side he sees this enjoyment. So he calls the people to jump, jump, jump. Okay, but he doesn't jump. He is sitting both sides and watching. So such a person is called Sadhguru. The people who have jumped is called Jivan Muktas. They are enjoying. Okay, or Vidya Mukta. So this person is. He doesn't enjoy the mango fruits. He is just watching it. <laughs> and he's a jump. <laughs> jump he's trying to get more people. He is to trying to get more people eat. And of course, he, he whenever he wants to go on, he can go to eat fruit and come back also. That's different. <laughs> That's <what I'm> <laughs> he is enjoying both the prayer and such a person is qualified to call Sadhguru. Other person who have jumped across are called Jivan Muktas or Vidya Muktas. They can't become teachers. They can't become gurus. So the guru is two in one. Okay? Two in one is one side is Paramartika, one side is Vavarika. For his, for his viewpoint is Paramartika. But he knows Vavarika viewpoint also. So that's why teaching becomes very simple and direct from him. Other people only do bookish knowledge. A Jivan Mukta a Sadhguru only can, he is able to talk from his intuitive experience, communicate in the Vyavarika language. That's why he is the bridge, he is the gateway. That's why Sri Krishna says, surrender to me, when he surrender means as a Guru, the teaching, not as a person. For Shisha, he is a person. <laughs> For Guru, he is not a person. For a Sadhguru, he is not a person. So the person come to me, he is saying to consciousness. So a guru is two in one. That's called Nara and Simha. Nara means human, Simha means animal. So it's Nara Simha means neither human nor animal. <laughs> that Nara Simha is uh, in a Puranic way of saying of Turiya. Neither man nor woman. And by both man, lion, both. So neither nor both. Sahaja Samadhi. Huh? Sahaja Samadhi. Sahaja Samadhi. <laughs> Clear? Next question. Shall we go next? Anybody ask a next question? Yes, sir. Vipin? He's there. He's there. He's there. He's there. He's speaking. Yeah. Uh, Guruji, uh, it is my request. Guruji, please... Uh, uh, Jivan Mukta.